bad news is, this is the last in the Ochiken no Heia DS series. The good news is, this is the last in the Ochiken no Heia DS series. The hamsters still refuse to leave their two-bedroom, six-living-room treehouse in Kyoto, meaning my main tea supplier, Felicity, in Worcestershire has been filling the gaps with tea in the form of dogs. If you watched any of the previous three videos on this series, just picture one of them in your mind. Anyone will do. Then write amusement park on the set of a brick wall in your choice of marker, spray paint, or blood, then beat your head against it until you get the picture. So before I even opened the case, I could have told you that this would be a collection of minigames which provide access to pieces of furniture, which a number of dogs and cats with tea leaves and other strange objects for ears would be able to interact with in a kind of Nintendog-style virtual living room, albeit one that's significantly more customizable. There would be cute little bits of storytelling presented in low animation vignettes, probably a means by which to customize the colors of one such dog, and if we're unlucky, the bowling minigame that fixates upon forcing you into an unreasonable and unnatural wrist movement we make a comeback. And in the immortal words of Al Yankovic, oh man, I hate it when I'm right. Yep, nothing we haven't seen before, except for maybe some of the more theme park themed mini games like this minecart thing. And an Ochiken bobsled game that manages to be better than both Cool Runnings and the snowboard game from Final Fantasy VII at the same time. And one of those things I mentioned had John Candy, and I'm not gonna tell you which one. That's the thing about this Ochiken series, yeah, it's exactly the same design as every other game in the series, and many of the mini games are reused. I call this series a paragon of recycling in the modern era, but they started with a baseline of quality so pronounced that each individual game can stand up as a decent title. It's just, well, when you play all four of them in about a month, your eyes might glaze over as you struggle to fill three minutes of audio with references to John Candy. So here we have it, the swan song to the Ochiken experience where interior decoration meets petting dogs meets target practice. They had a bad when they picked up shotguns, now they've got lasers and tea leaves for ears. All in all, not a terribly bad experience, especially if you're partial to puzzles or card games or carnival midway type entertainments. Or, you know, the why the hell are we doing this factor of a dog staring at a fish. I hope you've enjoyed this jaunt into the world of adorable character goods turned minigame compilations as much as I have. Now I'm going to go drink a beverage that isn't made from the ears of a dog. As I see that, Sega Toys unveils the Dr. Pepper eared Ochiken and stymies me once more.